Hello everyone, now this is a Lux Guide. This video will include abilities, masteries, matchup, item order, pros and cons. Now, let's together take a look at the pros and cons of Lux. First pros, easy to learn, lots of utility. Great team fighter, E and R gives vision. Long range, good poke burst damage. And now con, hard to side lane, team reliant. Abilities are easy to dodge, easy counterplay. Long cooldowns, squishy W, no mobility, mana issues. Now, let's take a look at the Champion Mastery page together. Here, you can make adjustments according to your own playstyle. Comet works best for Lux because she has a lot of AoE and poke damage, and this rune adds to it. It's a pretty short cooldown, and the cooldown is reduced when you hit your abilities, which is great, especially in teamfights. Aerie is a more supportive choice, or a choice if you're against a melee and want to poke them out a bit more. As of now, this rune is the only one in competition with Comet. I actually do take this rune in a lot of my games and works extremely well in any burst build. Not only can First Strike give you between 1,000-2,000 gold each game, depending on how often you proc it, but you get 300 for free boots as well! It gives you incentives to hit your item spikes faster. You also still do great burst damage with the 7% from First Strike. It's a bit different playstyle. Depending on the opponent's situation and the game's composition, you can make these selections. You can choose Doran's Ring, Health Potion, and Stealth Ward as your starting items. First Base Back, for your early item pick, you can go for Hextech Alternator or Lost Chapter in Boots. Up to 20 minutes, you can consider purchasing Luden's Companion, Ionian Boots of Lucidity, and Storm Surge. For your full build, after getting Shadow Flame recently, you can continue with Rabadon's Death Cap and Void Staff. This is a passive illumination. Your next auto attack against enemies hit by your abilities take extra magic damage. Lux's offensive abilities mark all affected enemies with light energy for six seconds. Her basic attacks and final spark consume the mark, dealing 20, 190 based on level. This is a Q, light binding, roots, and damages two enemies. Lux releases a sphere of light in a line that deals magic damage to the first two enemies hit and roots them for two seconds. This is a W Prismatic Barrier. Shields yourself and your allies with Lux's wand on the way out and back. Lux shields herself and throws out her wand in a line, shielding allied champions in its path for three seconds. Lux's wand then returns to her, stacking the shield to all allied champions it passes through and herself. This is a E, Lucent Singularity. Slows and damages enemies in an AOE bubble. Lux sends an anomaly of Twisted Light to the target area for up to five seconds. Slow icon slowing enemies inside and granting a 600 radius sight icon vision around it. Lucent Singularity can be recast at no delay. Lux detonates Lucent Singularity early. If recast while in flight, the ability will detonate on arrival. The slow lingers for one second after leaving the area. Enemies hit by Lucent Singularity are slowed for one second. This is an ultimate final spark. Lux fires a laser that deals damage to anything in her path. After gathering energy for 0.5 seconds, Lux fires a giant laser in a line that deals magic, damage to all enemies hit, and briefly revels them and the surrounding area. Final spark triggers and refreshes. Illumination if the enemy was damaged by Lux's other abilities.